The Your Money Bus Tour has uh, a very important um, uh, co-sponsor in Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine. I, I can't emphasize the amount of help Kiplinger's has been in this project, um, and they've provided a, a great deal of content that will be of great help to financial consumers on the website your, www.yourmoneybus.com. With us today, as he's been for a couple stops on the tour, and, and no, he, he is not driving the bus, but uh, it is uh, one of the most foremost uh, financial experts in the country, somebody that I'm delighted to have with us to uh, give a couple remarks. Uh, please uh, join me in welcoming Knight Kiplinger, Editor-in-Chief of Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine. Thank you, Mike. I'll keep this very, very brief, and I would like to associate myself with the remarks of the previous two speakers. America is suffering from an epidemic of living beyond our means. As a society, we are overspending, overborrowing, and undersaving. Americans have many excuses for not saving enough. In boom times, they said they didn't have to. They said their rising home prices, the appreciation of their home, the appreciation of their stock portfolios was a substitute for putting fresh savings aside every year, for setting aside the 10% of current income, which I think is the absolute minimum savings that people should be making. The Money Bus Tour, your Money Bus Tour is all about making savings fashionable again. We want people to keep up with the Joneses only if the Joneses are super savers and not conspicuous consumers. We want people to get into the habit of paying themselves first. The only way to assure that you'll have money for savings is to put it aside before you can spend it. You can't spend what you don't see. So by payroll deduction, setting aside 10% of your income each month, into your 401k, your IRA, and general savings will assure that that money will go into savings before you are tempted to spend it. This epidemic of living beyond our means is throughout our society. If we're looking for somebody to blame, we could look in the mirror. From the White House to Capitol Hill, from state capitals to the mayor's offices of cities, we have been exceeding our resources, which leaves America dependent on foreign capital to fund business expansion, to fund the federal deficit, which is soaring. It is time to put our house in financial order. It is not rocket science. It is not brain surgery. It starts with examining the household budget and separating needs from wants. That's what this tour is all about. We're out there beating the drum for higher savings, reigning in our spending. Congresswoman Maloney's bill is right on target. It is very difficult to get a grip on your credit if the rules are constantly changing with no prior notice. It's a wonderful bill, and I hope the Senate will act upon it. So thank you very much for coming. Mike? Thank you, Knight. Uh, thank you again for your very timely and appropriate remarks.